few honours we just saw with the graphics, but this is an Argentina team that have explored the depths of their emotional and physical energy over the last seven days. I wonder if they have enough left in the tank. And Italia, Gianluca Nieki will take care of this one. Lost Pumas Sevens, second overall on the standings. Yet to get gold this season. And it's been a long, long time since they've done it. 2009, there's Marcos Moneta, the superstar. <laughs> Jordan Sefo, likewise for France. We're underway, cup quarterfinal number four. And it's been won right off the bat by Vadim and Pasquet. Here's Pauline yes. Riva, the France captain, dishes it off to Joachim Truebal, Jonathan Logel, Stefan Perez. And Oyard, who's been getting plenty of minutes for France at this tournament here in Sevilla. Logel to Riva, always in midfield. Ball in two hands to Jordan Sefo with an opportunity to show his pace. And the offload to Perez. One more pass. It's Oyard. He's got support with Logel. Pops it over the top to Truebal. This is good stuff from France. Jouet! Joachim Truebal finishes off a free-flowing score from the French. Well, you call the Jure, it's exactly that, isn't it? Flair personified by this French team, led by this man, Sefo. Both he and Nelson Epe accounted for almost half of the tries, but this time he was provided the offloading game for France on point, and whereas previously the French would rely so heavily on the likes of Baka Tower of days gone by, and very Darmu more recently, they have got so many threats of which Truebal is edging his way on the name of being one of the most lethal. Riva with the extra two for France. The all the talk about Seth over this guy. Look at those for stats. Four tries here in Sevilla. Three line breaks, 11 carries. Not bad. No surprise you got an early try. These are the two top try scoring teams in Sevilla after the pool rounds. Yeah, some of the most exciting of the 276 we've seen in Sevilla have come from the French. This is the first time they've come out fully loaded. Perez with a cornrows. Going to be guiding them around the pitch, no doubt, but they have got strength in depth. Yeah, that's a break there for France. Off Perez has restarted. Touched the Argentine hand, so it's a... Uh, France throw to the line out a little high, though, for Jonathan Logiel. He's six foot four, but that was a little too much from Perez and... Gonzalez for Argentina. And here they get their attacking game going. So I'm physical. I'm Santiago Alvarez, the captain. Captain on captain in that collision. Revol. Gonzalez again. Passes to his right. Del Mestre. He's got Moneta with him. Look out for Boy. Marcos. He doesn't need much of an opportunity. Loose pass. Picked up by Iscro. Rodrigo Iscro. Into the 22. Moneta likes the chip and chase. Joachim De La Vega, who scored two tries in the cup final in Malaga last week. And they go quickly again through the captain Alvarez. He's got Revol to his right. Revol dummies and the offload. And they're in. Rodrigo Iscro finishes it off. But Gaston Revol, all-time appearance record for Argentina, heavily involved. Familiar names for the Argentina team, the familiar outcomes, that little bit of deception, the in and behind. And then Iskro holds his line brilliantly, the deception with the decoy pump, and then he puts it back in the one to right the tackle of Logel, powers through, that's the offload through the contact. They don't throw many, but when they do, they're effective. Conversion from Del Mestre right in front. They Level it up, 7 8 3 30 to go in this first half cup quarter final. What a player this guy is. Gaston Revol missed last week, COVID protocols, playing in his 84th event all time. He's been to two Olympic Games. He's one of seven brothers, and they're all accountants, apparently. What a flick back that is from the captain, Santiago Alvarez. Winning the ball off the restart. There's Revol. Again, Del Mestre. 
Little chip ahead for Moneta, but getting back is Sefo for France. Look at Marcos, though, the World Player of the Year. Not only with the ball, without it too. Well, he came from the initial play from Alvarez, flying high here in the Spanish national football team. Their ground, but this is... Nothing to do with football, this is just part thuggery. Hey, Look at the effort on his face, Seppo, so much bigger, faster, stronger, but then Crouch. dominated by Manetta. So attacking Boy. scrum for Argentina, 7 8 2 to go in this first half, cup quarter final. Revolt being there so many times in this situation. Here's Luciano, Rizzoni, Gonzalez. Counter up coming in from Logel, almost wins it back. Iscudo though has it. Del Mestre, that's come off the hand of a Frenchman. I think it's Trubal, yep. Automatic yellow card, they're down to six, France. It's a back player coming, Captain. It's a back player coming back. Big moment in the game. Deliberate knock. Alvarez takes his time. Del Mestre, Iscudo, Raval. Gonzalez, one more pass, and they're in. It's Joachim De La Vega who will come around and get closer to the posts. So immediately, the power play try for Argentina. They take the lead in the cup quarter. True about it, barely had time to get comfortable on his chair. Gonzalez with the final pass, just holding up Huye. And then the in goal pivot, just buying those extra meters. Every point counts, certainly knockout rugby. There's the spin to make it a few more degrees easier. They don't give you much Argentina, do they, in these knockout games? They haven't lost the cup quarter final this season. They've been in three. They've won all of them. Of course, double bronze in Dubai, silver last week. Conversion successful as well. Maximum score 14 7. Still a minute left. That's the rest of this half on the true of Al Simbi. Rebel once again controlling. Look at Alvarez lining himself up. Revolt. Again, Argentina win it. Absolutely brilliant. Leading the stats on restart retentions this season. De La Vega has been extraordinary in that department. Revol, Del Mestre. Iscudo to Moneta. Marcos Moneta, dummies, hits the gas and charges through. Marvellous Marcos Moneta has a score in the quarter-final. Gives it the big A-frame. The celebration's well rehearsed and he gets enough practice, doesn't he? The clock almost mirroring how long Chubal's got left in the bin because he's such a threat of putting the ball on the foot. The last two defenders are expecting him to go along the floor and he is just so electric. His stride is phenomenally big. It's like his roadrunner when he gets going. His legs going so fast. Almost emotionless as he scored it because he just knows what the expectation is. I'm gonna say the relaxed face of Marcos Mondes, and now he animates. Now he gets emotional as they go to the huddle at half time. 21 7 to Argentina. The yellow card costly against France. So Argentina will suck in the big ones. So far, so good. Fine margins in it, isn't it? Rob Bickham and the true about yellow card has really hurt France. Plenty of time to go, of course, but those passes completed for Argentina racking up. It was the majority of that impact when they were faced against the six Frenchmen. That's the type of chance you don't want to give your position. Not especially France needs to find something. 21 7 down at half time. They're back to full seven for the top of the second half. They look pretty calm, Argentina, don't they, Rob? Yeah, they do. Fine words by Santi at half time, just exploring that composure is needed. But what experience they've got in the ranks as well, almost an assistant coach on the pitch with a revolt.
the tricolor looking for a response in Sevilla as Argentina lead the cup quarterfinal 21-7. Yellow card for France in that first half. Argentina took advantage with two maximum scores. Stefan Perez kicks to the near side for Logiel, but again it's Argentina that win it. They're so dominant at restarts right now. And here they come again. De La Vega in the full shirt. Counter up from Sefo. That's gone loose. And Turabal is onto it. High tackle for Moneta. France will go quickly with the penalty. Here's Perez. Pasquet now. Dangerous player. Logiel just about holds on to it, flicks it back to Perez. Perez a little in and away to Pasquet. Varian. Pasquet is clear. Stade Francais. And France Sevens, has he got it down? Look at Luciano Gonzalez. Not giving up on the play. Pasquet looking to get close to the post. What about the effort from Gonzalez? Pasquet will be regretting this one. Trying to get that little bit closer, but he just ran into the Argentinian warrior. That is Gonzalez. There's no chance he's got that down. That is a took off the highest effort. Gonzalez just keeps impressing on a seventh piece, doesn't he? He's incredible, this bloke. Luciano Gonzalez. From La Tablada in Cordoba. Efforts upon efforts, oh, and that is held up. The only downside okay, is still looking. the outcome is probably going to be a five meter screw up. It doesn't feel like he's just rewarding her for that incredible effort. Yeah, the 15 aside new regulations have not faded down into seven, so uh, there's no line yeah, dropouts in this shorter form of the game. They're going to make double yeah. sure here. No try, the ball yeah. is held up. Okay, so scrum five. Correct. Uh, Hello? Uh, no, no, it's good. Held up. Yeah, okay. Asking the Got question, was it high? Held up is the score. Yeah. Scrum France. Look at the eyes of Gonzalez. Well, that is how you save your team. Seven points, isn't it? Gonzalez. I reckon you could give a good go in one on one with a ball in the ball ring. You'd take it down, wouldn't you? Yeah, boys. Captain, is this? For us. No. Body on the line, personified by Luciano Gonzalez. But France, well in this huge amount of time to go in the context of a sevens game. Six minutes, 13 seconds, 14 points the difference. France, five metres away from the score. Perez, off the base. Stephen Perez, has he got their balls over the line? Yes, he has. Stephen Perez, the 2016 Olympian has edged France closer. It does seem a bit unjust to the effort of Gonzalez and what he's just done to get it a try. This simple Perez just spots it. And again, it is that man who just saved it. Alvarez could have been in a bit of trouble, perhaps, for the high tackle. But we're looking at an Argentinian team, normally ferocious defence at the moment, rocking 38% tackle completion. And those passive tackles that close to the line, it's all too easy now for the French to get over. But they're very much back in this game. Perez, that was big. Their debut for France on the series in Wellington back in 2013, his fifth, 56th World Series event. There he is, fifth all-time tries for France, of course. The little genius Terry Bouahua tops that list. France have won a restart. That'll help them. Missy Oyard is Logel, Riva, Perez the try scorer. Cepho now. Cepho sets off. Gets past one, opens up the gate. Look at him go. Jordan Sefo scorches over for France. The conversion will level up this quarter final. I was speaking to Grandinier before about this man. So impressive it is. And he's an absolute natural athlete. Never want to lift big weights in a gym. Goes in there and sets records. One of these absolute natural performers. Riva, important kick from right in front, composes himself, they get the extra two. The Manetta sets charge, Epe on the outside, but Sefo doesn't need him. Back level in this gripping quarterfinal, yet a mammoth four minutes left on the clock. This game has gave us a lot, and there's still plenty to come. What a way to wind down our super session here on Saturday night in Sevilla.
Knock on France. Gone forward off the restart Knock from France. France. It'll Strong be a scrum one. to Argentina. Less than four minutes to go. 21 apiece. Something's got to give, remember, if it's level after regulation. We'll go to Golden Point. Can't end the cup quarter final with a draw. I do wonder the reserves that Argentina consistently get to when they play sevens. We saw it last week in Malaga. They've backed it up this week so far. These two teams, the highest scoring in Sevilla. I still think there's a few more five pointers to come through. So it's a scrum deep in their own territory for Argentina. Revol will feed it. Del Mestre, long pass over to Santiago Verafeld. He puts the pace on. And there's Nelson Epe off the bench for France looking for the counter ruck. Argentina holds on to it. Herman Schultz usually starts for Argentina. Coming off the bench in this one is Iskro. Tries to get the hand free for the offload. There's Schultz arriving just in time. Revol. Del Mestre. Berafeld, he's got Moneta with him. Can Marcos Moneta find another moment? Perhaps a winning moment in this quarter-final. Revol under pressure, though. <laughs> that was good work from Esteban Capilla for France. Penalised for the push. Eagle-eyed referee in. Revol. Knew what was happening. Got himself in between the ball and the player. And Capilla gave him a nudge in the back. This is where they can just take a little bit of pace out of it. Look around, get that heart rate a few beats lower. Just keep that composure. Yeah, Argentina, they are a well polished, well honed, expertly organised rugby sevens outfit right now. And they got plenty of power as usual. Herman Schultz up to the halfway line. El Mestrado Revolt gets it away to Marcos Moneta, leading try scorer at the Olympic Games in Tokyo last year. Alvarez, the captain. Schultz. Schultz gets through one tackle. Will look to get the offload away. He does so to Birafeld. And the tackle coming across from Vadiel Pasquet. And now the counter ruck as well from France. Trying to empty the tank on defensive France. They need the ball back. 1.30 to go. 21 each. The cross kick for Marcus Moneta. Just held onto his coattails is Capilla, but Manetta gets the ball away. But we'll come back. There's been a whistle. The ball went forward. Well, the referee was dummy in a fair bit with the whistle. He stopped it for substitute, but he thought it was a knock on. I think it's right on first look. What sequence of plays, both great, great attack and then the defense from Capilla trying to make up for his last effort, and there it was. See Brent Brakespear just yes, we are with issuing you. the warning to the referee, and rightly so. And look at first the is the knock-on, boys. He was just trying Not to place the ball, him. wasn't he, Manetta, so he could pick it up again. But instead of placing it, just rolled it forward. So okay, good spot it. from the officials. Is the knock -on, okay. Really good spot. For a man that's so used to normally put the ball down in the goal area. A little bit of inaccuracy has cost him. But look at the possession from Argentina. They've kept hold of this ball so well in this game. They could fight easy, but often they like yeah, the brawl. Offloads French. Substitution, boys. Number 13. Marcos Moneta on the bottom of the shot here. He's got a bit of attention from the trainer. Doesn't look happy, but of. Mark. Claret coming from the nose. Yeah. He's actually got his head bleeding as well. He's got. He's dripping. Bye. Malbec. <laughs> right, here come Argentina. They've got the scrum against the feed here, and here they go, getting around on the outside. This could be the winner. It's Franco Sabato, who has scored for Argentina. The 32-year-old back in Los Pumas sevens. And back scoring tries. Well, it was deep territory from the French, and it was one against the head. So rare is that set in sevens. Wonderful play from the three forwards. Getting the upper hand, getting that striker, and Sabato showing he's still got it, hasn't he? French defenders falling over themselves. Epe brushed away. He takes out. Flailing defence. He's not able to get there either. Sabato 
He scored some important ones in his career. That's right up there. Conversion from out wide gets off the upright. Remains a five-point ball game. His 123rd try in his 56th event. Franco Sabato running repairs for Marcos Moneta. Five points of difference. This is the final play. France need the ball, but that's gone off a French hand and Gaston Revol hoofs it on the volley into the stands and Argentina have done it again. Their fourth cup quarterfinal win in a row on course for a medal match again. And you can't take anything away from this Los Pumas outfit. They are so tough to beat. 